So boom guys, in this video we're gonna do four cheap car mods, just cheap modifications you get on eBay, AliExpress, etc. I'm gonna show you, literally we're fitting one, sorted one out, we're literally cleaning up to do one of the mods right now. But four cheap car mods, we did 10 uh, must have car mods for the Polo, that got over 20,000 views. And I thought let's do four or five cheap mods for this video and see what we can find. Obviously there's gonna be more and more modifications to do, more things to do. And like I said, we want to lower it, that'll be a whole video, we need to get side skirt so much stuff so don't feel like this is the last polo video there is more mods so if you have a polo want to see more modifications you could do to a car you might have a fiesta or something like that like a bmw a class you can find like small mods from the, like what i got and apply it to your car as well say i got a spoiler you can find a spoiler for your car so not necessarily have to have a polo for these videos to work but yeah four to five car mods we're gonna see what you can find guys so make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the mods. So boom, we're gonna do mod number one of the part two video. So, as you can see, we have a new wing mirror cap. So what's it called? Don't even know, but yeah, pretty much it's a sport pointy one, kind of like those M Sport. However, this one is a replacement of the actual one, not a cap. I believe this one is a cap because you have no screw points here to swap it. So we're gonna see how it looks and see if we can actually fit it onto this. So, Legit, that's it. That is it. The easiest fit. So what I'm gonna do is, boom. To remove, you just stretch it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this surface first and then put it back on. But that is as simple as that. Boom, stretch. Okay, I don't know how I did it so easy before. There we go, simple as that. So yeah guys, we do need a clean, but we're gonna check what looks better. So these are the new ones, spikies. It's gonna stick out a little bit, as you can see. I'm gonna get some 3M tape to stick that on. Um, but that is that one versus the regular. So these are the carbon. So I did these before, uh, just didn't re record it or video it. These not real carbon, by the way. It's like probably like printed on um, on both of them. So yeah, let me know what's better. This or pointy. Let me see if I can. There we go, guys. Let me know down in the chat. But yeah, mod number one wing mirror cap so there are different styles that's the main thing i was trying to show you you can get this style or the carbon or just pick a black color as well if you've got like a blue car put some black caps etc etc but let me know what you think so boom i've put some of these uh number plate pads which are super strong similar to 3m tape uh by exclusive registration shout out to him he does my number plates so mod number 1.5 get some number plates these are the 3d ones you got the 4d over there on my other car those are the 4d number plates there so if you like number plates go to exclusive registration that's just a extra bonus one there yeah definitely check him out he does them properly uh, that's a really short one that's like normal size um legal spacing correct spacing um but yeah we're gonna stick these on see how it is and see if this works as a solution to kind of keep these alongside both we're peeling these off now with one hand Do get these put it over this part first and then just stretch this part and then it goes in easily as you can see now super sturdy not moving like you can't just rip that off now so use some tape so mod number one on there and as you can see boom and then also you can see you've got the sequential light so mod number two sequential lights easy to fit you just remove the bottom one and just put the new one in you can get them on ebay but yeah you can see these stick out a little bit but obviously it's taped so it should be strong yeah very very cool what you guys think i feel these look just makes it different whatever, whatever we can do to make the car look different from factory we're gonna do guys so yeah this is gonna be mod number one two and then 1.5 on the number plate shout out to my guy exclusive reg for the number plates as well as the sticky pads for the those that we just used so boom, next mod is door sill stickers. So I bought these on AliExpress. They worked out about, I bought two sets for three pounds 74. And yeah, pretty much. So we, oh, since I got two door, I don't need the smaller ones. So we're gonna use the bigger ones only. We're gonna see if these fit. So these are like carbon fiber, quite, quite thick, as you can see. So we better get these stuck down, see how it looks. So boom. When you hop in the Porsche, you already know what you're hopping into. It is a bit messy down there, but and when you get bends, you got it says bends. So when people hop in this, I want them to know 
the hop in and the polo. So, so I think they're both symmetrical in shape. So just put them in reverse order, but I'm thinking where to put this because we've got to put it like here. Because here we got the hole for the door lock. So you don't want to cover that and it's just kind of like bent over. So I'm thinking like that. Ideally I want it here, but that is just going to keep, that's just going to get damaged there. So because of the lock, we will have to put it here. So let's get that. So it's a little bit off, more, uh, more than I wanted it to be. So yeah, I know the car's a bit messy in here, but oh, look at that. Let's not ruin it. Luckily I bought two sets in case I did. I gave it a little wipe down before. And this will also double up as it looks good, as well as it protects your door seals. Wow, let's go, look at that. Okay, hold on, some bubbling. And now look at that, hold on, there's a bit too much sun. We'll show you the other sides, but you can see when you hop in, well, man got the polo, matched the crepes. So yeah, let me do the other side. Again, the car is dirty, I'm a hoovered in here and he is, um, but yeah. Again, I would like that if it was here, it would look so much better just because of that. You don't want to obstruct that because then the door, it locks into there, I think. So we'll put it here-ish again. So top half first, should be a wrapper at this point. Look at that. And it's like nice, like it looks like carbon fiber, it's thick. Straight from AliExpress. I couldn't find these on eBay. Hence why I bought them on AliExpress. Only took two weeks to come. I think that's a nice mod, obviously, with my carpets. Probably need new carpets, which you can get from AliExpress as well, but matches my kind of like red stitching. Little few. All right, steering goes upside down, but you can see I got the red stitch, I got the red charger cable there. Like everything's like black and red in here. I got the red lights underneath at nighttime. So it just kind of matches the whole black and red theme we're going with. So yeah, close up view now. What do you guys think? Is this a sick mod or not? I know it's kind of like bending on the Polo logo, but for three quid, can't really go wrong. It's just an, it's an extra. So boom, look at that, you hop in. Everyone knows the Polo just about, and yeah, cheap mod. So I'm thinking putting the, these extra ones, because obviously if you had a full uh, door card, these will go to the back seats, but like that, when you pop the trunk, you know, boom, this is a Polo, so. It's not like a sticker, like you wouldn't be able to rip it. Um, maybe if you tried, but. I have a Supreme sticker there already, as you may notice. Wow, does that not look like a premium polo now? Obviously, the water's going to get in here. I don't know how long this would last, but I'm, I don't know. I've got no other use for it since I've got a two-door. So, as you can see, boom, open your trunk. Uh, you're greeted with polo. It just looks more racier. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's not a race car, but yeah. Looks pretty cool there. Nice little touch. I had nowhere else to put it. I've got one more sticker. Where can we put it? Let me know down in the comments. Boom. We're going to do a mod 2.5. So this is a shorter antenna. So basically, we have a long one on these cars. Cars nowadays don't really have antennas. But you can get this. You can get a delete, remove it. However, I don't want to go through the hassle of covering the hole, etc, etc. So I bought a short one. Actually, let me show you first. And it always hits because I've got a spoiler now, so it's gonna hit. And it's just leaving a, a line there, which you can probably clean. Yeah, probably clean that off, anyways. So, bought a shorter one on eBay. Probably get cheaper on AliExpress. That <laughs> looks <laughs> pussy. So, boom. What's that look like? I kind of prefer the longer one. It just looks like an RC car. Yeah, that looks a bit stupid now, but. I did this for practicality. Some of you guys may prefer the look of a shorter one. And let's do the test now. That's mod number 2.5. So it doesn't really count to what I throw it in there. There are shark fin ones as well on eBay. I bought one of those before, but it just doesn't stick properly to the top and it just comes off. So if you want a shark fin, you can give it a go. Try using glue. But the mod number three now. So let me get that. So mod number three is LEDs for the footwell. So as you can see, you can do multiple colors with the app. 
so boom so i actually have some already but i thought i'll just stick two on because to show you for the video because we needed five cheap mods for this title as you can tell so try and uh, there's a few things i bought it twice just to show you guys as well so we're going to do is going to fit these i like to fit them so let me open this to show you okay i forgot a remote but you don't really need the remote if you're using the app we got this but since we already have one we already have one of those and yeah here we go this is the light so it's one for each footwell so front driver passenger then the two rears right so you could obviously in a polo you have the usb here so you plug this one into that and then i think that's just an antenna and then you could plug it here you could put it through here however that's going to make too many wires out there so as you can see i currently have some in as you may see you can't really see but that's the point you can't see them so i'll show you how i've done it this may not apply to all polos because my friend has a polo and he doesn't have what i'm about to show you so most of you would have to do it from here then feed it through to the back but with my polo i actually have a one of these lighters here so what i have done is i bought an extension so i recommend if you're doing it from the back or buy an extension from amazon so it'll cost you a little bit more you'll get a cleaner finish or well, try to be cleaner first of all you gotta download the app so i will let download this app so boom it's the same as my current light so same app all right so is that magic happens it might be a bit dirty in here So as you can see, the extension goes all the way here. So I've got that there. But then you can also hide your cable. So untangle this. So what I want to do is plug it into the USB since it's a double port. We've got two in there. Put that in. What you want to do is kind of feed it through here or you can just do Perfect. take that off make your life easier and you can see how i've done it before underneath so i've got these car mats i bought another one so we'll show you a tutorial how to fit these in um so yeah that's going to be mod number four spoiler it's coming from china so it'll take a while and then what i do is that so boom why I do it like that is, if you've got people in the back, well, I had one spare, but they can use one of the USBs to charge their phone from the back. So it looks flush. Very nice little USB there. And now, we've got to sort these out, work out which one's back, which one's front. Three, two, one. All right, so we worked out which way's which, so we're going to put this one you might have not have these mats so you probably can skip this part or just watch it in case you do buy the mats because of the next part but yeah these mats are a bit dirty had these since i bought the car so hence why they're dirty so you can see it's here wireless finishing and then onto the next one under here under there these lights are flexible i hope I've already got one, but because of the video purposes, I bought another. Uh, so I'm just gonna double, I'm just gonna double stack them. So just peel that off and I'll show you where I've put them. So I'd recommend only doing one. I'm just doing two, like I said, uh, but I put it on this bar here, just so it projects along this whole area instead of just the footwell. And then now I've put one, another, my extra one on the bottom. Uh, but like I said, I just recommend doing one and then follow the wire, put the wire along there, click that in. So if you've got car mats, you can tuck it underneath the car mat. Boom, there, just directly under. So as you can see, that's my original one. I'll just put another one there. Tuck it in your mats. So with the driver's side, I'll show you how I do it. So you don't step on the cable while you step on the pedal. But as you can see, all flush, can't see no cables, just about. Um, but yeah, new car mats coming. These are a bit beat, need a hoover and that. But we keep it real on here. This one, you want to go the other way, technically. 
So you want to do it like that. So the cable is this way. This is if you're doing it from the back. If you're not doing it from the back, uh, if you're doing it from the front port, then just feed it through to the back that way. But you're working backwards. I mean, we're doing it from the back. So same position as we did the other side. Stick there. They hold pretty well, to be fair. Hide the cable. And now, so ignore this cable here. This is for my dodgy USB for my radio. But the reason why I say put it this way and in, because you can tuck it there and it's not going to get in the way of your foot pedal. If you put it going this way, the cable slacks a bit and then gets stuck on that pedal there when you're driving. It's a bit long. I don't know if anyone will experience that, but just in case, right? Boom, and then just remove the slack off the cable, tuck it in. You got these mats, just clip that in there. The cable's nice. You can probably put, get some tape, tape those there, and we'll do it nicely. But yeah, we're gonna get new mats, so stay tuned for that. So as you can see now, we've got the red LEDs. As you may tell, you can't really see, but you can see in the back there how it just lit up lights up the back foot well. So when it hits nighttime, guys, show you how those look. So boom, it's currently 7 p.m. right now. So not too dark, but now you can at least see how it looks with the LEDs. But obviously I have double stacked it, so it's a lot more red. So you can see like how red it is there. So yeah, cheap, I think it's probably your best cheap mod for its value for the money you're spending, 15 pound or so. It's not too bad. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. All right, boom, guys, this is mod number four. So this is, we're gonna do four cheap car mods. And pretty much this is the last one, which is Max. So I bought these on AliExpress. Some I, I bought, my other ones I bought from somewhere else, but I think they all get it from the same place. So we're gonna see if these fit. We're gonna fit them today. We're gonna clean the car. That's why I came to the services for the vacuum here. We're gonna clean it up and then we're gonna change it to Max to show you. But these are previous ones. You might have seen a glimpse of these. I've got the black with the red stitch in. I was wiping them down. You do have to maintain them. Yeah, but as you can see, it's still all messy underneath. So we're going to start hoovering, cleaning as much as possible. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is our old driver's side mat. As you can see, I'll put a solid plate there. And look, all the rubber knobs have run out apart from these because my foot is not there. As you can see, where my foot action is. And yeah, some of the bolts have come out as well. This is why you need to keep these cleaned. But yeah, basically, I don't know if I can show you. Hold up, Marie. Your heels on this rubber mat here. My heels like are always here, as you can tell. That you're gonna make a hole for it. So I bought a plate in case, but I'm gonna try and position the the heel part a bit lower this time. And you can see we had some wear here as well. So this is stuff you can bear in mind. You start getting wear here. This is just general use as well. So, but yeah, I haven't cleaned the interior of the car in ages. Otherwise, it'll look a bit more cleaner than this. We're on the hoovering part, but as you can see, make sure you run mats, guys. Otherwise, you'll get a big hole. Maybe it's just the way I drive, but yeah. So, but I'm going to fit this in. It's looking a bit long still. It's a bit too long, right? We'll see how far up it goes. No, nah, it's perfect. All right, so basically, because it tucks in. So, you got these little flaps. You put them on the side there. Did an okay job hoovering and cleaning. We scrubbed it down and that. So that goes underneath. Yeah, no, that, that works. Like perfect cut for that there. Only problem, it doesn't have much holding. But you have these little tabs here. Which, so you put it up in there. All right, boom. Up there as well. Any more clips, no? How about your side? It's only by the thing is, so. It doesn't really. It doesn't really hold down. So all I'm gonna do is, so yeah, you got the creases as well, the way they just packed it in the bag. So, my genius idea, what would my genius idea be? Find some double-sided tape. All right, so boom, guys. So what I noticed is when you put the clutch there, you see how it goes like that? So you need to put some like, tape. And you can see with the red, it's already dirty. Obviously, I'm wearing my dirty shoes, but not that dirty, but because it's red. Even over there, look, all mud here already. So yeah, this is going to be a sticky one. I'll show when we're black again. But yeah, as you can see, we just got to push that all the way that way. 
and just um, get some tape just to hold it there. Uh, so it's like double sided Gorilla tape. Only problem is already dirty. And we'll see. Right, my palm, my heels. I do it there, but I'm always like relaxing over here. So as you can see, I'm going to make a hole right here. So I do have another metal plate, but let's look from afar. That's what matters. So, um, so yeah, all this needs to be like held in. In there. It just makes it look a little bit more premium. Maybe the black just to be more subtle. I thought I'd get red for video purposes. Let's do the back seats. So boom, rear one. So unlike my other ones, my other ones did cost me more money. However, unlike the other ones, how is this working? This has to fold like that. Way. Okay. So unlike my other ones, they had little things where you can put it in. I guess they gave us a lot of extra material. What am I doing? Tucking that inside the chair. So this one isn't as flush, but maybe, is that what it wants me to do? So obviously, I don't know if you knew this, so you can lift, oh, okay. So they got little points. I don't know, I'll pull that that way. Lift your seat. So boom, this requires two people now, so. So now I'll the reveal with the mat. So my last ones were a bit better than these, but yeah, you can probably find, you pay more, you get better quality. So you can see it's just creased up. So you got to let it just kind of mold in eventually. Obviously, I'm going to buy double-sided tape so that I can just stick there, etc. But boom, we did the back. There you go, it's looking premium. Obviously got bare creases. I stepped on it once, already dirty. So that's why I recommend the black one. Yeah, I love the diamond mats. It just makes it look more premium <laughs> from a distance maybe. But yeah, once in a while, I guess the creases will crease out. Um, but yeah, this is a lot more thinner and cheaper quality to my last one. The last one I paid double, which was 100. These cost me about 40 on AliExpress. You got the passenger side. Yeah, red mats. So obviously, there's a variety of colors to pick, but just another cheap mod you can add. Obviously, um, make sure you fit it safely, especially with the pedal side of it, because um, you don't want it to get caught or anything like that. But yeah, make sure you do. If you can't do it, then I wouldn't recommend riding with these. But yeah, we're gonna um, tape them down basically, and hopefully that'll fix our problem. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of the cheap polo mod video so yeah hopefully you guys like it hopefully you guys can hear me because um they're, they're doing a car wash over there but pretty much that is four or five car mods for this video i'm not sure how many we've got in here it's just about finding mods for under 50 pounds we did some in our 10 uh, mods video already so i could have saved some but there's a lot of cheap mods in that video as well under the 50 pound range uh so yeah hopefully you guys like this make sure to like and subscribe we're gonna have more car polo mod videos coming and like i said in the intro you can still apply this to other makes and models uh similar things so if you want to get your own uh mods bloody hell they're doing the blow dried out but if you could, you can still apply these mods to any other making models so hopefully these videos are useful guys more pro I'm, I'm like i said i want to get another project car maybe in the future so subscribe for that more videos with this coming i was just waiting for delivery hence why it took a little bit longer from the original video so stay tuned guys like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time peace